Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are gonna clean the fader modules, finally. So here's what these things look like up close and personal. Uh, so the P and G fader caps are pretty gross. Those those lines that are uh, that you're seeing that are uh, kind of brown looking are supposed to be white. So we'll get those nice and scrubbed up. So um, I did a number of these already, and I have a really nice uh, procedure for uh, for getting these done. So basically, we're gonna pop the uh, fader caps off. And uh, depending on, on how dirty everything is, sometimes I've been pulling the safe buttons, the uh, muter, fader, and automation safe buttons, um, but I have been pulling all the set buttons because they're kind of gross. So um, we'll get this uh, taken apart and we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so now that we've got our fader caps removed and our set buttons removed, we can pull our faders out. Um, so what you'll need is the obligatory paper espresso cup, a um, T10 Torx screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. So to pull this out, you just support the fader from the bottom, pop that in there, and the fader comes right out. So all you have to do is just rock the uh, Molex connector back and forth, and it comes right out. So to open this... All you have to do is uh, very, very gently insert your flathead screwdriver and rock it back and forth. And you don't want to go too hard on this because it will crack the plastic and this comes right off. Just like that. So these, here's the fader, here's the top part. So we'll set this aside for a second. Now, the next thing that you want to do is grab a set of tweezers and pull out these little nuts that are right here because if you don't, you'll lose them. Um, so here's here's the inside of our PNG fader. It's a little gummy. It's a little sticky. Um, generally, if, if you've never seen the inside of a, of a fader before, what you typically will find are these, are these little dust bunnies in here like this. I mean, this is pretty common for for most for most uh, audio applications and this is the kind of stuff that this can can really mess with you and because once dust is in there it, it it kind of attracts other dust and it just sort of becomes you know a magnet for for dust so um i'm gonna search my camera view and and show you how we clean this okay so now that we've got this laid out the first thing that i like to do is blast it with some contact cleaner and i cannot stress enough Make sure that it's just contact cleaner and it doesn't have any lubricant in it. This is just alcohol. It'll evaporate away. Everything is good. Um, if you've got cleaner in it, it's pretty much the worst thing ever. So uh, we'll just blast some contact cleaner in here. And then I take uh, one of my detail brushes and just, and just go along the tracks. And this gets any of the little, any of the little dust bunnies out. Um, so after I do that, I'm getting the fabled cotton rounds that I've used to clean every other part of this console. And I'll spray this with contact cleaner again. And we'll get this guy in there. And we'll get the board. And we'll get the rails. Now because we're using alcohol on this, oh, that already feels a lot better. You're taking out any of the old lubricant that was in there, so you have to keep that in mind. That as you're soaking stuff down with contact cleaner, you are removing any of the lubricant, so you do want to apply a secondary lubricant. So it's going to take a little bit of sprayer here. And we'll... Ooh, well that died. <laughs> Good thing I have a backup. Get this out of here. Okay, uh, the next step is I like to just take some WD-40 um, and I've been cleaning the exteriors with WD-40. So starting with the, uh, the track that's exposed to your fingers and dust and all kinds of stuff. Ew, that's what's coming out of there. Um, so we just take this whole thing. And my thoughts on the WD-40 is that it lubricates the plastic. So not only is it a cleaner, 
um, it's going to lubricate the plastic that we just blasted with alcohol, dry, drying it out. So here's our top piece. And here's the inside. So that's what's coming off of there. It's kind of nasty. So I'll just take the dry side of the pad, go around it. I mean, you like to take the, uh, the inside, and just brass that with a little air just to make sure that if there's, it, it spreads the lubricant around. And then also if you have any dirt that's, or any lint that's in there, it's going to get that out of there. So um, what the same lubrication procedure that I've been using on the, uh, the Alps faders goes for this. I'm just going to use some silicone oil. Um, and I'm just going to put a very generous bead on that rail and a very generous bead over here. I'll just get that moving, get it down a little bit. And that is a very, very nice feeling fader. So just a couple of little spritzes of air just to kind of situate that all back in. Flip this around, we will grab our two little square nuts. Get those back in like that. Um, when you put it back on, the little tab goes towards the Molex connector. Um, I've been wiping it down with a microfiber cloth just to get up some of that excess WD-40 out of there. And that uh, looks like a brand new fader to me. So uh, to mount that back in with our Molex pit facing down, we put this, oops, sorry, it would help if you could see that. We'll just put this in here like this. On this one, it's easy because you can uh, connect the Molex first. On the other ones, you can't do that. So just hold that up so that the holes line up. Let me screw it back in. Okay. That is, and I like to just go back and forth between them just to feel uh, how, how the difference is. And my God, this is um, really amazing. Okay. So all the faders are out. Now, generally I do these one at a time, but I figured since I was filming this, uh, this batch, I couldn't rob y'all of disgusting dust bunny fader shots, right? So here we go. These ones are kind of gross. So this is, um, this is channels, uh, 17 through 24. So this is just to the left of the VCA section. So you got to figure, um, I wanted to film this, this bank because I figured that engineers hands would be sort of resting here. And these might be gross. So for the sake of YouTube, you want to see the gross stuff, right? Um, but anyway, here's here's what we got going on. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. I mean, all the all the faders in the console have pretty much look just like this, but just a lot of dust at the ends here. Ew. Yeah, there's just there's just a lot of crud in here. And that's okay. I mean, I, I don't know the the maintenance on the console is, it, it doesn't really, it, this isn't indicative of a poorly maintained console. It's just, yeah. So, it's not indicative of a poorly maintained console. It's just, you know, it's a moving part that your hands are sitting on top of. So, all right, we'll get these, uh, we'll get these cleaned up. Okay, so at this point, while we're waiting for our fader caps and set buttons to dry, I want to get the top of this cleaned. Um, so what I've been doing for that is just using some multi-purpose uh, car cleaner. Uh, same, it's the same stuff from, from all the other videos, and I've just been going over this, like this. And that's what we've got going on. So this one's dirty enough that I'm gonna do a second a second coat. Okay, so after two coats of cleaner, I'm gonna run two coats, or we'll, we'll put a coat of uh, 
our wax. Okay, so now that we've got our cleaner applied, let's get our fader caps on. Okay, we are all back together and clean. Look how nice these fader caps look. Um, the uh, fader uh, set screws on this module are a little more corroded than the other ones are. Um, I had, it is a very stark contrast when you look at it. Um, so I may end up replacing those, but again, we're all nice and clean and and spiffed up. So uh, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.